Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm gonna show you how to make 15 healthier freezer meals at one time. Now, as some of you might know, I just had a baby. She is actually six weeks old this week. Not only that, soccer season has started, track season has started, and so dinner time is a little wild, trying to balance everything. So I love having freezer meals on hand that I can just throw them in and I don't even have to think about dinner time. Now, if you love freezer meals or you've been doing them for a long time, as sisters, we have something fun coming up very soon. If you want to get on our wait list, I'll put the link down below in the description. All right, if you're ready, let's just jump into the recipes. This is our teriyaki vegetable and rice bowls. Now when I'm making a lot of recipes at once, I like to make the recipes that take the longest time first. Now please note, you don't have to make these all at once. I've made it so you can just make one and then double or triple the recipe and it works out perfect too. Now with this video today, I am actually making the recipe three times. So I'm having five recipes, making them each three times. Got my rice here. We're gonna add six cups of rice into my eight quart instant pot. Then for every one cup of white rice, it's one cup and a fourth of water. So I have quite a bit of water here. Then I just mix the rice around just a little bit before I cook. So whether you're cooking one cup of rice or six cups of rice, you're just gonna cook white rice for seven minutes. Gonna put the lid on. If you have a little knob, make sure that knob is on sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna come down to pressure cook and just like I said, seven minutes. Now this one I need to push start, but some of them you can just walk away. All right, next I'm gonna cook the vegetables and I love buying just a huge bag of stir fry. Now you can cook this on your skillet, but I'm just gonna put it on a cookie sheet so I can cook the whole bag at one time. All right, I put some parchment paper down to make cleanup a lot easier. And we're just gonna spread it all around so it will cook pretty evenly. Okay, we're gonna cook this at 400 degrees just until the carrots are nice and soft. So with this recipe, I'm gonna do about four chicken breasts for each recipe, there we go. So I'm gonna cook this all in the Instant Pot. Now, if you don't have a second Instant Pot, you can bake your chicken. Now this is just a normal six quart. We're gonna see if we can fit it all, see if we can fit a few more in here. Then you just wanna make sure you add enough water that <laughs> it won't burn. So we're gonna put quite a bit of water in there and then cook it for about 20 minutes. Chicken is all ready to go, all cooked up. And our rice is looking good. That is some good sticky rice. And the vegetables are all nice and cooked. Those are also ready to go. Okay, we just have to put this together now. I'm just gonna work one recipe at a time. Ooh. So we're gonna pull out three or four chicken breasts right now and we're gonna cut them or shred them all up. So we're gonna put these in freezer bags. They just make it so you have a little bit more room. So you always wanna make sure that you label your bag. You're gonna dump in the chicken and then grab the vegetables. Okay, then I grabbed a third of the vegetables and I'm just gonna put those right on top of the chicken. You can add more vegetables if you want to also. Now usually you would add sauce or something like this, but I like to just have my sauce on the side, not opened yet, just so people can choose how much teriyaki sauce they want. So we're just gonna freeze it just like this. Now you're just gonna do that two more times so you'll have a total of three of those recipes. Now, with the rice, it's all cooked, ready to go. We're just gonna scoop it out, um, about a third of the rice, put it into a freezer bag, and you can just put it in the freezer along with your chicken. All right, so we have our three bags of chicken teriyaki, then we have our three bags of rice and our three teriyaki sauces. All right, the next recipe I'm making is Mexican spaghetti squash casserole. Usually there are spaghetti squashes in the grocery store, but lately they are nowhere. So they do have some in the freezer department. So what you're gonna do is take your squash, if you have three of them, you will take three of them. You're gonna cook them and shred them. Now all the recipe instructions are down below in the description for you, but just so you know, you need about two pounds of spaghetti squash per casserole. While the spaghetti squash is cooking, we're gonna cook three pounds of ground turkey. Okay, now it's time to just throw everything into a nine by 13 aluminum pan. So we're gonna start with the spaghetti squash. Now, if you had normal spaghetti squash, it wouldn't look like this, it would be shredded. Now we have our ground turkey. We cooked the three pounds, so we're gonna kind of split this into thirds and then just take a third of it and just put it right into the bottom. 
Next, we have two green bell peppers. We're just gonna dump in here. We have one can of black beans, one can of corn, one small can of green chilies, one 10 ounce can of red enchilada sauce. We'll just pour in. And then about a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm leaving the liquid in there. So our spices, we have one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, and then one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix that together a little bit and then just sprinkle that all over. And then the last thing is about a cup and a fourth of cheese that we want mixed in with this. So again, I like to eyeball. That's close enough. All right, I'm gonna mix this all together. This, this looks good. I'm excited for this. Okay, Ben, we're just going to spread it as evenly as possible. And then we're gonna put the rest of the cheese on top. Then you're just gonna do the same exact thing two more times. Then you're going to cover it with foil. We're gonna cook it at 400 degrees for 45 minutes and then take the foil off and cook it for another 15. Now with this recipe, you can eat it just like that to make it a little bit healthier. You can even put it on top of salad if you want to. But for my kids, they would probably love me to make some baked nachos out of it. So kind of get to play around with what you like. All right, next up is our Hawaiian barbecue chicken tacos. This is one of my husband's favorites. Okay, I already put the chicken in so you don't have to see me, you know, try and suffer squeezing those in the bag. So there's about three large chicken breasts in there. So if you have small ones, make sure you do like four or five. Then I'm gonna add some pineapple chunks. You can add tidbits too. I even had a lady that did crushed pineapples that worked really well. So we're just gonna put in the liquid and the pineapple. Next, we have one cup of barbecue sauce. And if you know me, you know that I like to eyeball. So this is me eyeballing. And then just go ahead and do it to each one. Okay, then you're gonna add three tablespoons of brown sugar to each bag. You don't have to add the brown sugar if you wanna make this a little bit healthier, but I like the flavor that it gives it. Next thing is liquid smoke. I love liquid smoke. We're just gonna add one and a half teaspoons to each bag. Then we chopped up all the onions. We have about a half cup of onion to each bag. Oh, this makes it so good. Now, if you like a lot of spice, you can add two tablespoons of diced jalapenos. You can use fresh or canned. I'm just gonna add just a little bit just for flavor because if it's too spicy, my kids aren't going to eat it. Then we have about one teaspoon of chili powder. Then we have about two cloves of garlic. I love to use the minced garlic. And then the last one is you have yellow mustard. We're just doing about one tablespoon of yellow mustard. Okay, now they are all done. We're just gonna take it off here. Get all of the air out. And then, because if you can see the mustard, we don't want a big mustard clump. We're just gonna kind of mix everything around just a little bit before we lay it flat. Okay, now these are all done. I just forgot to tell you, if you're gonna cook it in the Instant Pot, 20 minutes. If it's frozen in the Instant Pot, 25 minutes. Slow cooker is three to four hours on high or six to eight hours on low. All right, so when I asked my sisters what freezer meals I should share with you, three of them said meatball soup. So that's what we're making next. First thing we're gonna add is just a bag of meatballs. Now you can use turkey meatballs, those are a little bit healthier, or you can make homemade turkey meatballs. Then you're gonna add 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. Then we have one package of ranch seasoning. We're just gonna dump right in. And then tomato paste, we have about three tablespoons full. Now for the vegetable part. So we have about one onion that we're gonna just dump in there. This is four carrots that we chopped up, and then three to four stalks of celery. Just put right in there too. Okay, and then the recipe calls for about six cloves of garlic. You can also add salt and pepper now. I like to do it when it's all done. We're just going to zip this baby up, and then we'll finish the other ones. Okay, they are all done. They look so good. Now, we need four cups of beef broth when you cook it, so you can keep this Keep it frozen, put it in your Instant Pot or even your stock pot, 
and you're gonna add four cups of broth as it cooks. Now, if you're doing an Instant Pot, it needs to cook for seven minutes. If you're gonna do your slow cooker, it's about three to four hours on low. All right, and the last recipe I'm making is Fiesta Ranch Chicken Burritos. So you can make these for your meal and then double or triple the recipe and stick them in the freezer. Okay, because we're tripling this recipe, we are gonna add about a cup and a half of plain Greek yogurt. So next we're gonna add Fiesta Ranch Seasoning. And it's about one tablespoon per recipe, so we're gonna add three here and then just mix this all together. So we're gonna take a whole wheat tortilla and take some of the sauce we just made and just put it down. You can do as thick or as thin as you want. I'm not gonna do that thick because it gives it a little bit of kick. Next, we're gonna add our chicken. Now I did a rotisserie chicken, but if you want to shred, like cook it in the Instant Pot and put it in here too, that works just great. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of mozzarella, a little bit of red onion. You don't have to add the onion if you don't want to, but mm, I love red onion. Some cucumbers. And then I like to put just a little bit of cilantro on top. Okay, and we're just going to roll this up. So I like to pull on the sides and then roll it in. So I like to eat these cold. So when my husband goes to work, I'll pull one out of the freezer and then just wrap it in foil and it will stay cold pretty much all day. So then when it's time for lunch, you can just unwrap it and eat it. Now before I end, if you saw my last video about my cat and how he eats all the food, even prepping for this video today, the cat got into the tortillas. I know, so frustrating. <laughs> all right, you guys, if you want more easy freezer meals, I have plenty for you. You can find them just right up there. And don't forget, link down below in the description, get on that wait list. Okay, I'll see you guys next time, bye.